Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome to the Fashion Bunker. We're going to be touching base and reviewing all of the bags from the Chanel Cruise 2023-2024 Los Angeles runway. Now, bear with me because the fashion show video just hit the... Uh, the Chanel YouTube channel. So Chanel has not updated their website yet with like close-up details of certain specific looks. So I grabbed everything I found to show here with you so you don't have to do it. I'm gonna do it for you. Subscribe to my channel while you're at it and we're gonna look at all these bags. The All of the pictures are, are shots from the Chanel website so they fall under fair use. And let's get straight to it while you're subscribing to my channel and uh, clicking the join button next to the subscription button. I'm going to open the first photo for you already. Um, click the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is filmed in front of a live a virtual audience, darling. And you can join every Saturday and midweek in the live chats. I have my co-chatters here with me. Are you guys ready for the bag review from the Cruise Chanel 2023-2024 collection? Let's begin with this one. Eh. Now, you know my stance on Chanel leather. Since over a year now, their leather is just very subpar, in my opinion, only. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's just my opinion, okay? Uh, so I'm not, uh, since one year almost now, I haven't been purchasing their leather uh, goods. Uh, I have been purchasing their perfumes. I, I adore their fragrances. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, number 22, I'm wearing number 22 today. And uh, I love the bags that I have from Chanel, from the you know, from the past years. But since they are trying to redesign some things and they're kind of promoting new shapes, well, uh, we can still review the shapes without necessarily talking about the quality or lack thereof. So I'm thinking, let's begin. Now, <sighs> the whole collection is very 80s inspired. This particular bag is, I guess, has rhinestones glued to it. And uh, anyway, so, but interestingly enough, you see, I do not see here a turn lock. So I wonder how this little bag is closed. Is there like a magnetic closure there? Because this is, this down here, this is not a turn lock, you guys. And it looks like it's fabric, not leather. Um, but the chain is intertwined leather with metal, so... There's a bit of leather there. I'm not living for this. It looks a little bit cheap to me. Um, oh, Debbie says Art Deco. I don't think Art Deco used to do this kind of geometric morphing, you know, like these kind of 3D effects. That's not very Art Deco. This is more... Uh, this is more op art, if anything. But then 70s disco inspired. I think this is more op art. Eh. Anyway, what do you guys think? It's either magnetic or a snap button. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Carrie says, I love the design, but I would want to see it in person. Oh yes, of course. Goes without saying, but Chanel just dropped the video like literally uh, four or five hours ago. So obviously this is all we get. We only get this type of resolution for now. Just saying says Beverly Hills has the actual preview of these bags today. And this one has a double CC on this bag. Well, yeah, of course, there's several double CCs. This is a double CC. This is a double CC. That's a double CC. That's a double CC. It's in the pattern. Yeah. All right. It looks like an H instead of a C, says Kev, just because they flipped the double C, right? So instead of it being like this, they flipped it like this. Like that. Okay, let's see the next one. I know, bear with me. You're like, what the heck? But this is the photo they sh this is the photo Chanel shows. Now, what we can at least see a little bit that this is like a raffia. 
like a raffia, you know, uh, bag, a woven bag that they do sometimes out of uh, straw materials. So this is very beachy vibes, very beachy vibes, probably maybe winter woven with leather on the top as well. It's kind of funny that we just see a little bit of it here. Uh, and then this perforated lambskin uh, leather pants to go with it. Uh, raffia is a gorgeous material. However, it's very expensive and not really worth it, in my opinion, because it can dry up and break easily. Yeah, raffia straw wicker moment. Exactly, Caleb. Yeah. So let's go the next. Oh, it's stimulating my type of phobia, says uh, Jocelyn. Let me show you the next one. Okay. I know, right? Zane's like, they dropped the video today. Bravo to you and to the work to get it re ready for the... I'm telling you, I, I've been working for like 10 hours straight. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, this is insane how much work this was to prepare this entire live stream. By the way, thumb up uh, this video if you're enjoying it, you guys. So this is a sequined bag. It's a mini. It's a single flap mini. I want to say rectangular uh, with a leather chain metal chain with leather interwoven in it. But look at this detail here. I think this is a bow. I think this is an actual bow. Like, the chain is done in a bow. Because uh, why else do this like, like this? I don't know. But interesting. But I, I would say no to this. But anyway, sequins everywhere because you can see how it's reflecting the light and then it's like Coco, Coco, Coco everywhere like the name coco chanel coco 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 and i think maybe here it says cambon like 31 rue cambon and not a big fan of this one um we have our sequin lovers out there those people that buy you know all the sequin bags but uh i, I wouldn't mind to have like a sequin chanel bag like one but not this one <laughs> i'm also not a big fan of these colors um Anyway, let me let me show you the next. I hope it won't shed, says Kev. The last raffia flap shed like crazy. Oh, about the raffia bag. Chilla says no. All right. <laughs> Louis says, oh, wow, a flap for Chanel with stones. Groundbreaking. Now, this is a clutch, and I do believe it's a clutch and not a wallet on chain with a hiding chain inside, because Chanel does that for the runway. Often we're going to see them soon and i think this is an actual clutch because you see here at the bottom of the bag it doesn't have that opening that's squished like the wallets on chain have instead it, it rather just kind of goes here very tight bends and then goes up again and then folds to the front so this is a clutch i believe that has sequins <laughs> rhinestones or sequins applic as appliques attached to it to form a landscape of, I guess, palms and a beach on a, in a sunset. Sure, why not? For a red carpet moment. Red carpet moment. I guess. I guess. I, I guess you could you could do it for a red carpet moment. But uh, yeah. It's not the best thing ever, <laughs> but I can see how this has its clientele. You know what I mean? Artsy, says T-Pal. Artsy. It feels very prom night, to be honest, says, um, says Carrie. It's giving beach vacation, vacation air spray t-shirt. Kind of. Yeah, it's cute, says Jane. So there you go. I don't mind this. I like a little bit of whimsy and something different for Chanel. And I'm really happy that it doesn't have the logo. At least from this angle, I don't see a logo. So this is awesome. Let me show you the next one. You know, I'm very happy when there's like no heavy logos visible. Sometimes. Okay. Now this one is also only from the side view. But look at this. What, what, what struck me here um, in particular is the fact that this looks like a 19 bag right what is this going on here? it looks like a 19 bag and it looks like they hid the chain that goes usually long but this is interwoven leather and metal and they put the chain inside the bag and then you have like the 19 bags they have like a stitched piece of leather right there and then they have the shorter 
they have the shorter handle as well in, in chains. But this one is different. So instead of the metal chain, they have an interwoven leather and metal chain that they hid inside the bag. Then instead of the leather, the leather bit stitched to the bag, they have a metal part attached to the bag. And then instead of having a chain handle, they have one metal-shaped rounded matelassé handle, which they bent, and then the model is just squishing the bag. It's almost like it's a mix between the Funky Town and then a morphed version of a 19 bag, although this one doesn't have a pocket in the back. So it's a weird new shape. Oh my God, Jocelyn. Jocelyn said, everybody's so creative. <laughs> See how different that is? Oh my God, the lady from TikTok. Everyone's so creative. Take a bag, take the strap off, add another one. <laughs> Buy it at, you know, some hot topic. Glue it on. Party city. Everyone's so creative. So anyway, yeah. It uh, looks a little bit like there's much going on here. And there could be uh, there could be issues with the actual metal thing attached to the flap. And we, we know where they're left. So anyway, it looks messy. Let me show you the next one. This is interesting. Chanel doesn't often offer us, actually, they did not offer us little D-rings on the side of a bag since the Gabriel. Since the Gabriel bag, we did not have some detachable D-ring moment. So this little bag has a strap that probably goes through the grommet that is probably on the top of the flap. But then on the side of it, there's another little D-ring moment. What, what should we attach to this? I mean, technically, the strap is already attached to the bag, so I don't know what this would be for. The bag is in this highly glossy patent magenta pink color with a turn lock. So, um... What a vibe. Oh, Debbie beat just lean to everyone is so creative. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that comment. Okay, so Debbie was the first to say everyone's so creative. Debbie got that point for sure. Yeah. So Justine says the magpie in me was attracted to the mirror shine of the metallic bags, gold, silver, etc. But I don't need. Oh boy. Six months later. Justine is like, hi guys, I'm gonna unbox a new bag. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> the metallic. <laughs> anyway, I mean, we'll go, we'll go. Not a fan of this one, to be honest. Moving on to the next one. The same one in gold. A little mini version in gold. Goat. Chanel. Chanel gold. You best believe when they are so metallic, they're going to sell like hotcakes. Like people love their very, very gold metallic Chanel's. Okay. Um, I am going to stick to the one and only for me, the, the, the one to rule them all as the Lord of Rings would say. And that would be my Metier 2019 Paris, Egypt, Paris, New York, but I call it Paris, Egypt, the golden uh, Coco Croc mini. That's, for me, the quintessential gold Chanel bag. Like, nothing can ever top that in my life. So, this is cute, but it's not the golden Chanel Egypt bag. And that's why this is just cute for me. I have one gold Chanel bag. I always wanted one. I got that one, and I'm good now. Plus, I got the fanny bag, the golden graffiti-sprayed Egyptian fanny bag as well from Chanel. So, I'm, I'm good. We'll go, we'll go. We'll go, we'll go. Let's see the next one. Okay, this I love. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it is a holographic, metallic, pink, patent, glossy as a mofo. See the little chain hiding in there? Wallet on chain. 
but it's not a classic wallet unchained because you see you see how they stitched it on the side it doesn't go inwards it doesn't bend inwards like the wallets on chain do so this might be something else i mean it's a new type of wallet on chain look at the holographic vibe on this uh, pink it is calling my name exactly zane barbie and gem and the holograms vibes this is giving me synergy if you know you know gem and the holograms this is synergy i want this bag i'm not gonna get it because i said to myself i'm not doing the leather from chanel but oh yes kev i know thank you for bringing me back to reality kev says would probably peel and crack like crazy and yes louis it does give forever 21 vibes I still love this color. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for this. Like, you give me pink like this with a hologram. With a holographic mo- Sorry. A sucker. A sucker. This, this, I love it. I love, what, I love it. I'm not going to buy it, but I love it. Anyway. Cha. Let me show you the next one. It's very strong, the pink Catalina. Yes. Sequins. Sequins for days, darling. They try to do a little fade here from blue to light blue, green into mud. And but but look, underneath it's purple. And the, there's a purple leather strap. And I guess I guess the interior is purple. <sighs> I'm not living for this sequin moment. And you know, you know they're sequins because look how they're reflecting on her skin right there. All the light is reflected right there on her skin. That's not a rash. That's the sequins reflecting light, like a disco ball. Yeah, it does feel like a failed rainbow attempt. Oh, they try, honey. Not the mud, said Vel. The mud! <laughs> But also, this is so tacky, this moment here, like this little thing. And then this little, this little chain. Oh, my God. And then these little crystals. <gasps> yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is not giving. Not giving. This is not giving anything. Okay. You see what I meant before? This is a wallet on chain because it has these little indentations on the side of the bag. And you can see the chain hiding right there. This is a pink wallet on chain. And she is like, hey, queen, hey. Um, oh, they're doing rings on three, two to three fingers again. Interesting. Chanel did this several years ago. They're bringing those back. You know, they're going to be hard to kind of fit because not everybody has the same size of fingers. It's difficult. Anyway, um, no turn lock. It's just a clip thing, but it's a huge double C logo. Yes, we love pink, but I mean, how many times are we going to see Chanel pink? We got pink interwoven with the black here as well. Yes, we love pink. How long are we going to keep loving pink? I think forever. <laughs> I think forever. But I, I really love this. I love this uh, pink color. I don't care for the wallet on chain. I have one. And that's my one and done. I have the classic black one with gold hardware. That's all I need. Corey K says, I'm no. Oh, this is leather. I, I believe this is leather, not jersey. Kev, I think this is leather, like a lambskin. Oh, this cute though, says Vel. Uh-huh. Forever pink, forever girly pink, yes. This can't follow the holographic pink and expect to stand a chance. I know, right? Yeah, I, I think you're right about that. Like after the holographic pink, this is like, where did the holographic go? Where did we lose the holographic? Oh, bless, it's a naked pink. Anyway, yeah, so anyway. Now, but you know, you know somebody's gonna wanna buy it. Corey K says, I love pink, but not this. Is it too blue? Is it too blue? Like it, uh, blue tinted too cold? I kind of like a cold pink <gasps> with orange. Oof, could you imagine? P pink with orange, I love. Also red with orange. Anyway, okay, moving on to the next one. We got a ton of bags to go through. Because as we know, Chanel always dumps them all on the runway because Chanel makes their coin with the bags. So, of course, they're going to show us 50 billion bags every runway. Not, not very elegant of you, Chanel, to kind of have almost every model have a, a bag. Okay, this is a clutch. That double C, you lift it a little bit and then you open the clutch full of little rhinestones, a little metal. It, maybe it's a metallic rhinestone-y thing with geometric shapes like rectangles and stuff. 
It has a double C here, double C there. Sua. Sua. Yeah. Looks kind of Shane, you know? Or Shein, or Shane. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's giving me Chinatown. It's giving me Chinatown. Uh, but uh, Mother of the Bride, says Kev. Vel says, I like the idea. Block color pattern, says T-Pal. It sure is a clutch bag. Yes. And maybe it comes with a metal chain with a little foldable moment here and there that you could kind of a little metallic thing that you can unfold and then attach the chain to. Knowing Chanel, they don't want you to detach their chains and make something else out of them. So they, if they did deliver a chain with this, it's probably attached to the bag inside and you cannot detach it. So when you're not using the chain, it kind of fills half the bag, which is ridiculous, but that's what Chanel does. Louis says DIY. They are bringing back the kiss lock clutches, it seems. They never really left. They've been there. They've been there. I've, I've always seen them. Anyway. Next. Okay, what do we think about this miniature? Now, I do have this one from the first time they served in spring, summer 2021. My choker, Chanel bag, little metal one, you know, the wire metal one. It's the same bag. They do it every year now, but they just change up the body of the bag, right? So, so for next season, they're doing it in a Muppet fluffy, I guess it's rabbit fur. So it's a tiny little fluffy bag. It's literally this little, this little. But this time, the chain, as you can see, is not interwoven with leather. It's just metal. And it has a little golden thing on the side, and then it's just the body of the bag is fluff. It's like this this little. It's literally this little. Crybaby says, hmm. Tipa said, I had to go full screen mode to see it. Ha <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Get it out, your local Claire's, says Kev. Screaming in horror, says Debbie. Like a baby rabbit. Right, T-Pal? Well, anyway, I had to show it to you because technically it's a bag, but it's more kind of like a necklace vibe with a fluffy moment going. I don't know what to think about this one, you guys. Not a fan. Not a fan. Next. It's giving something all right, says Crybaby Uzagi. Yes, a bunny tail. Kev says, what would you? What would it hold? A condom and broken Hollywood dreams. <laughs> oh, and here Chanel goes Louis Vuitton. Okay, I know it's like the Deauville. I think it's the Deauville. Maybe some other bag. It has little legs at the bottom. Look at those little tiny feet. And uh, there's little ombre effect going on. Okay, we got from like dark blue to a little lighter blue. Uh, and then we got all the accessories hanging off. You can purchase the star. You know, they're going to have the star bags like they did the heart bag last year. They're going to do the star bags next season. They look so fake and tacky. I can't even... But you know, the usual Chanel victims are going to buy this one. Uh, then there is that metallic bag again, this time in this dark blue with the, I don't know, what is this giving me? Like weirdly, either the chain is reflected on top of the flap or the chain is going inside of the bag. It looks like a mini, like a flatter version of a mini. Also, the leather is probably going to crack, allegedly. And then we got the Deauville tote or whatever it, or whatever it is. I think it's a Deauville tote because in the back we have the two extra chain straps hanging. It's giving very much Louis Vuitton colors though. Oh my God, Michael Kors, says Louis. Yes, the color is striking, says Winnie. The construction cannot be any cheaper, says Kev. It does look quite cheap. Actually, the star looks cheap, the mini looks cheap, and the shopping tote looks cheap. Ollie says, no, thank you. I prefer Louis Vuitton for Louis Vuitton. Next. So this is weirdly looking like the funky town, but with a different added strap on the side of the bag this time. Even more opportunities to damage the bag. 
I love the metallic green shit fly moment. Love that colorway. And I love the oil spill going on with the hardware. That oil spill rainbow effect on the hardware. Beautiful. Not like we haven't seen these colorways before, though. Obviously, we've seen stuff like this a gazillion times already. But within the constellation of Chanel delivering looks for Los Angeles uh, cruise collection, slight Barbie vibes, Venice Beach, sunsets, a bit of tacky like this works for me. Very Paris Hilton, you know. Crybaby says, I like the matching hardware. Hey, Nicole, how's it going, my love? I know, right? The star is the worst part of the look before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. This with the sunglasses could be a vibe with the Chanel sunglasses. Yeah. So next, but, but, but in general, this is a no for me. Also, I don't like the fact that this strap ends here and it's thinner here than here. So I don't know what's going on there, but uh, something is going on there. And the strap is very short. So this is a shoulder bag. It's not a crossbody, but the strap is too long to just wear the bag like as a top handle bag. So you're always stuck with it here. Very Y2K moment, but not in the best of ways. This is a no for me. Next. Okay, living. It looks super cheap. Target, Claire's. But it's a fanny bag, you guys. I know you can't really see it here. This is a fanny bag. It's a belt bag. You can see here has a bit of chain, a bit of the leather strap, and it has all that rainbow color, and it's all that metallic. Yes, it's cheap looking. Yes, it's tacky looking. I kind of love it. <laughs> I, I kind of love it, y'all. Um... Yes, Kev. Samantha had something similar in Sex and the City. Would I buy it? No, I'm not buying their leather. But it's cute. And let me tell you, here and now, this little fanny bag is a moment because it's giving us 80s vibes. It's giving us these rainbow metallics. This is going to be one of the best sellers, in my humble opinion. This one's going to sell more than the heart, um, more than the star bag. Just saying, my prediction, here and now. Oh my God, Debbie says, not even, full Walmart. <laughs> Love me a hot topic moment, says Crybaby Uzagi. Cha. Oh, Gloria is not liking this. Okay, let's move to the next one. The next one is... Okay. Please, somebody in the chats, explain to me. So I guess, okay, I'm liking the, so this bag hit the runway, like several looks had this bag. It has the turn lock. It's ginormous. It's giving me the width of the 22, of the Chanel 22. They've updated, however, finally, the chain strap is not kind of damaging the sides of the 22 bag, but it's going through a hole on the top of the bag, and the bag has a little turn lock closure. But the depth of this thing, what is this for? This is like so unflattering. This bag is really ugly, like ugly to a point where I think it's kind of interesting for a guy. This could be interesting because it's big enough for a man. But what is it for? Oh my God, Krabibi Zagi says, it's Shaped like a little sleeping bag for a teddy bear or something. Debbie says, 22 bag, second try. Gloria Rethinos, lunch bag, school bag. Miss Y says, WTF. Caleb says, it would work on a, oh yeah, on a tall person. Steph says, this looks like me as a kid at Halloween, toting around my pillowcase. Sylvie says, Manila envelope. Carrie says, it looks like a lunch bag. Maya says, if you're tired, you can use it as a pillow. Jane says, it's a book bag. Vel says, am I the only one that doesn't hate this? No, I don't hate it either. I think this is kind of interesting. I just want to know why this shape. Uh, Kev says, it holds a cutting board so you can make your own organic salad on the run. 
Gloria says, algebra book and your turkey sandwich with a new Coke. Looks silly, says Incantation. Scrybaby says, I love the colors, though. Vel says, it's intriguing. Chris says, colors are great, but agreed, too long, or in this case, too deep. Anna says, it is a laundry bag. Jane says, extended flap. Oh, the shade. The double entendre. Uh, Carla Green says, laptop, maybe. Miss Y says, fits a row of Barbies. t -Pal says, it's tall enough to carry your wine bottles in it so it has merit but it's not wide enough for wine bottles but the chat got really really like perky you look at the chap becoming all perky when this bag popped up that means that this bag this what does this show to me that this bag is striking a chord somehow because a lot of you are commenting on this bag which means that somehow somehow this bag is striking a chord Caleb says, I think it's cute, but it's giving paper bag puppet. <laughs> Vel says, I'd put all my Chanel perfumes in there and walk around town. Honey, if you put all your Chanel perfumes in there, chances are the leather would tear, rip open, and fall apart. Just my opinion. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's just alleged. Okay. Uh -huh. Um... Natalie says, postman bag, back in the days. Gloria says, it will turn heads. Oh, God, you're making me want it. The FOMO. Look how much leather here to, to peel. <laughs> how much leather to peel. But I am loving it. I'm thinking, bear with me, that maybe, just maybe... There is some option behind the bag that makes this foldable so you can fold it and turn it into a shorter bag as well. We'll go, we'll go. Oh, the FOMO. But you know it's going to be made out of that like half skin that's made from the side of the animal or the belly, like the terrible material quality that's going to, oh, you know, you know, allegedly. Oh, my God. And I really love the ombre and I like this. I want it. <laughs> oh, Jocelyn. <laughs> She's also like, I love the colorway, though. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. Somebody stop us. Somebody stop us. We are crashing. We're cra Look at us. And look at Chanel's, uh, the Vadheimer brothers' eyeballs go like dollar signs. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. They're thinking, look at these suckers. Each and every one of them is going to buy this crap. Oh, I know, Jocelyn. Louis Vuitton did this colorway, though. But Chanel does it better. On this bag. They zoom better. They zoom better. Okay, okay. Let's see the next one before I uh, before I, I write my sales associate right now. Like, pre-order one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write her. I'm going to write her. And I'm just going to ask, how much is it? It's probably going to be like 6000 All right. A little sequin moment. It's like a mini. It's like a mini square or rectangular with a lot of sequins. You know, this thing is going to cost you like, because of all the sequins, like 10K. Uh, I'm gay. Not I'm gay. So I like the colors on this thing. It's giving me 80s vibes, but I'm not. It's not new enough. You know what I mean? Like the weird... 22 bag second try. It's not weird enough. Virginie says, been taking notes, setting one aside for you. Oh, Virginie, my love, thank you. If you would only actually really send it, you just keep saying you're going to like give me stuff and then you don't, Virginie. Why you do me dirty like that every 10, every 10, every 10? It's ugly, says Huaheim. Looks like Gucci, says Louis. Looks like a gram negative bacteria in chain form. Sorry, I'm a nerd. Oh, it looks like bacteria? Live in ferret. Anyway, next. Ugh. Again, the Deauville tote doing Louis Vuitton looks terrible. Next. Next. <laughs> 
cha. Okay, listen, hear me out. I know a little, but okay, it's a tiny little thing. Little thing. A little... I want to say from what I can see between the fingers here, it looks like there's a little wire, a little metal concoction on a teeny tiny string. It's probably one miniature minodier, little miniature thing, maybe a star. You know, they already did those star shaped metal things or something, something little, whatever. Camellia, maybe Jane, who knows, moving on. But anyway, had to show it to you because it was on the runway. Okay, here we go. Look how flimsy this thing looks from the side. This is the star. This is, pardon me. Oh, that fount is coming out. Uh, this is the star-shaped Chanel bag. And I'm sure they're going to make these in a plethora of colors. In leather. Maybe this is cotton. I don't know what this is. But honey. 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 This wonky... So, I mean, I think Hot Topic would do better. Hot Topic would do better. Would do better. Zoo better. Chanel, zoo better. Zoo better. Zoo better. Um, oof. yeah, $7.99, Debs, with a 30% voucher coupon code. So you get it for like, what, $5.99. It really looks bad, y'all. But you know those Chanel aficionados are going to buy this. And, and, and we're going to unfortunately have to look at this crap on a daily basis on our Instagram feeds because the bimbos are all going to buy one. Jocelyn, you're awfully quiet in the chats. You better not be thinking of getting one of these. Zon Zouet. Zon Zouet. You know it's sus when Jocelyn gets quiet in the chats. <laughs> she, she's thinking. It's like, I kind of like it. Zon Zouet. Zon Zouet. Ah, there she is. She's like, LOL, no. Eh, it's a very short little tiny no. She's still thinking about it. Let me tell ya. <laughs> Next. Wait for the Zara version, says Carrie. Okay. Little wallet on chain with a lot of like embroidery sequence on it. Evening little wallet on chain. Oh, this is kind of interesting though. The bracelet is giving ecstasy pills vibes. Uh, the baglet. I like the night blue and the purple shades. Sure. Why not? Sure. Sure. But. Eh, do we need it? Mm. Do we need it? No, we don't. Oh, the bracelet is very, very Y2K, Chanel. Yeah, resin. And then these little giblets, the little pills are inside the resin. It does look cheap, Penny. Right. The, the pharmacy bracelet. Exactly, Jane. Yeah, Zane says, given Carrie Bradshaw vibes. I know, we're loving that. And just like Carrie Bradshaw, she also has short short nails. You know, Carrie always has that kind of weird, uh, I want to say, evil witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So anyway, moving on to the next one. So it's a no for me for this one. Cha. Uh, no, I mean, again, these Deauville totes, like a lot of them hit the runway. I get it. It's a cruise collection. You want to go to the beach with this stuff, on a cruise with this stuff. Like, I get it. But, you know, this is going to cost you six or $7,000. So I'd rather spend two or 3000 instead and get the original, which is the Louis Vuitton, which looks better and is not as crazily priced as this one okay let me show you the next one here we get our first tweed with a lot of pins on it now those pins probably come with the bag and those pins are probably going to make the bag cost double the amount it's a mini in a pinky peachy tweed if it didn't have all those pins on it, I would say really cute. I, I just don't like the pins. But whatever. How many times can we see a mini 
five gazillion times. It's just yet another mini that is going to come out after yet another price increase. So this little baby here is probably going to be around $5,000 by the time this bag is released. Let that sink in. Cute color. Cute color. These pins should be detachable and they should be purchasable on their own. What worries me is that you see this thing right there behind the bag? Is that a pin attached to the back panel or is that the perforation of this pin coming through the leather and then oh, I don't even want to think about it but I like the pins on their own just not on this bag okay next here's again the miniature the little mini bag with the fluffy oh this looks like a butt oh my gosh look at that it's literally a, a rabbit's ass Ta. Let me tell you, that rabbit is, is giving, honey. It's, or, or it's the breast. Rabbit breast. Rabbit breast or rabbit butt. But it's giving, honey. It, it's hefty. This is a twerking baglet. A twerking baglet. A Hoka player, a pahoka player, a pahoka player baglet. Little piggy, little piggy bag. Yeah, it's look at that. That rabbit be packing, packing. Oh, you think it's the balls of the rabbit? Oh, Coco, oh, Coco, <laughs> Coco the rabbit. He did have a wonderful life, and he will forever uh, be immortalized. Well, his best parts, his family heirlooms, will forever be immortalized in this, a Chanel baglet. Moving on. Okay, so this is very Y2K now, because it is kind of one of those like Celine used to do years ago, like the detachable three little baglets together. This is also like three compartment. It's like a three compartment accordion bag, Chanel bag in metallic green. I like stuff like this if the leather were good quality. I think um, this is a cool 80s vibe, shape-wise at least. You know, yeah, the shorts are really cute and the cardigan, great colorway. Um, oh, it will yellow, unfortunately, but it's already kind of giving yellow vibes here on the side. But it doesn't matter if this this colorway, even if it yellows, it's not going to be so visible, I feel. It's not going to deter too much. But yeah, it might yellow, especially if it's patent leather and lacquered and you never know. Anyway. Uh, Steph says the bunny will forever be mortalized, but first died pink and humiliated on a tiny bag. It's, it's, it's the dyed pink for me. All right, next. So this could be a yes from another brand, not for like $5,000, $4,000, you know, look at this little black clutch. I wonder if it has a top zipper pull. It's interesting because on this side, look, the bottom is rounded. You see what I mean? And here it's kind of straight, like st stitched, like straight cut. So I wonder what this, but we would have to see more. But in inner Estin, inner Estin, thumb up the video if you're liking it, you guys. And subscribe also to my Chanel dedicated fan account, Jacob CC, all spelled together to see more photos. Uh, maybe it was a mistake for the fictre, says Kev. Possibly. Hey, Sandy, my love. Welcome. All right, let's move to the next one. Ta. This is like the first bag we've seen in that kind of brown, ambery hue. There's also the blue version of it. But interestingly enough, this one does have a turn lock. The other one didn't. Hmm. So maybe it was a different bag. The other one maybe had a magnetic clasp, but this one definitely has a turn lock. And it looks like it's a jersey or some other material. And then it's like bedazzled. 
vajazzled, darling. This is very, very vajazzled, very L.A. vajazzled moment. Um, not really liking that blue. Also, very kind of not fitting with this blue. The vajazzled bag, you know. You can, like, take these off one by one. You pluck them, like hairs and then you put them you you re, you reattach them down there and before you know it you've vajazzled just like your bag oh honey oh honey don't you know it huh? another Kako chanel moment all right let's go to the next bag lot oh Okay, so this is a, ma a munchkin. What is this thing? Is this the small version of the Chanel 22 Take 2? Because the big one has that flap, right? But I'm thinking if this is the smaller version of it, maybe it doesn't come with a flap. I don't know. We would need to see more. But I, I'm intrigued. But I don't know if I if I like the open slit opening. Yeah, Steph, it looks a bit stiff to be a 22. You're right. You're right. Alex says, Chanel's been doing a lot of a jazzling lately. The patches with the sequins. Ya detach, ya reattach. Somewhere else. Okay, let's see the next one. Ah, yeah, uh, covered with sequins, all white, almost like snow. And then we have these pinky and golden hues used, uh, sequins used to spell out Chanel and to spell out the double C. Nothing we haven't seen before. It's nothing groundbreaking. They're all very conservative Chanel bags for Chanel standards, right? Next. Again, that Funky Town vibe, like Funky Town Take Two. We've seen it in the metallic, uh, what was it, blue or green? And now we also have the gold, which is not so metallic patent glossy, but rather Chanel does that sometimes, that kind of um, textured metallic vibe. When you touch it, it feels grainy. Uh, you know, then whatever, we'll go, we'll go. But look at that sneaker. Child, this is so ghetto. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the sneaker necklace. Girl. Well, and, and this choka? A choka player. A choka player. Yeah. Not feeling the, the, the textured, grainy gold version. Because you know that this is going to, as you wear it, as it rubs, that gold is going to peel off very easily on these particularly textured leathers. On Chanel leather, anyway. But, so it's going to get everywhere where it's rubbing on the back. It's going to turn to that gray, dull gray color underneath the gold, just my opinion. Yeah, Debs, this is supposed to be a high top sneaker, I believe. And then they also did necklaces with roller blades and with roll with roller skates. And uh, roller skates. And they also did necklaces with um basketballs, black and white basket basketballs. Um so we'll go, we'll go. Uh, let me show you the next one. Cha. Okay, cha. So this is what we now have officially baptized here in the Fashion Bunker. The Chanel 22 Take 2. <laughs> or maybe they just want to call it the Chanel 23. <laughs> it's literally one year later and they're already like moving away from the 22, right? Or since this is Cruise 23, 24, maybe we should call this the Chanel 24. I even like this minty green, lime green. Oh my God, somebody stop me. I'm getting giddy. Ah! Listen, it's the Baby Yoda version. This is the Baby Yoda version of the 22 Take Two. Kev, I know you're going to get this bag. Uh, Vel, what's wrong with us, Vel? Are we entering menopause or something? Because we're like hot flashes, hot flashes. I see this and I get a hot flash. I don't know why I'm attracted to this ugly bag. 
Uh, Kev, I, I knew pistachio. Pistachio. Or as in Italy, they would say pistacchio. Pistacchio is actually spelled with two C's. Um, Vel says she's speaking to me. Uh, Vel? This, ba this baby Yoda, 22 Yoda Pagoda, is calling my name, honey. Oh, my God. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, let me go and get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me go. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Let me just go get it very quickly. And I'll be right back. Oh, I don't know what it is about this bag, y'all. Especially that flap. It's the flap for me. I, I think it's the flap that it's kind of unfortunate that it's all the way up there and the rest of the bag is just hanging like another pair of, if you know, you know, uh, but uh, it is calling my name. Oh, is it ever? Oh my God. Gloria, Vel, Jacob, this is an intervention. You wait and see. When all them hoes start unboxing this on, on their YouTube channels, each and every one of them. Ah, and another unboxing. Look, I got the new 22. Oh, yes. And then the next season, they're going to make these in denim, in velvet, in tweed. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. I want one. I hope that they don't price these too high because it's the first season. Now, I'm, no, stop, 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 stop. I have to stop thinking about this. No, I will not buy another leather shell bag. <laughs> no. <sighs> okay, next. Ah. Yes, Sylvia, it's it's the boho vibe that catches you. <laughs> oh my god. Listen. Y'all. Y'all, I, I can't. I can't. Uh, okay. Listen. And what I love even more is that the dress goes from pink to orange, but the bag goes from orange to pink. And like that they're opposite, it just makes it so much more delicious. Oh, I love it. I just uh, the sunset vibes. Uh, yeah. Right, Kev? You would do it in denim, to be honest. Oh, Kev, you would do it. You will, honey. You will, will go, will go. Thank you, Steph. It's a pretty color scheme. California dreaming, says Ollie. You best believe. Val says it's given us everything. It is giving us everything. Look. Look at my... Oh, my God. Look at my eyeball. Look at my eyeball. And my, look. <sighs> look. Look at this. Look how it matches. And my lip matches the. Oh, it was it was just made for me. The eyeball, the eyeball loves a matching moment. I'm sorry, you lost me. I want this bag. I really want this bag. But no, no leather, no Chanel leather for me. I mean, I wouldn't say no if somebody gifted it to me. One, <laughs> Virginie, darling. Jacob's going to be the original peddler for these bags. Everyone else will just be copying. <laughs> Kev, Debbie's like, no. Okay, moving on to the next one. I really do love it, though. I mean, if their leather were amazing, by hook or by crook, I would find a way to get that bag. Okay, now, uh, Debbie... You've been asking before. Yes, this is the Volkswagen, but obviously they couldn't put the logo because, you know, Chanel cheap. They don't want to pay the rights. But it's resembling that late 70s hippie, well, late 60s, mid 70s hippie vibe. Let's, you know, load our Volks Volkswagen van and let's just drive all over the coast of America. It's kind of that dreamy vibe. And then there's a surfboard on top. And yes, they made this bag, this Minodier, in many different colorways. There's a black one. There's a silver one. I think there's a rainbow one, a, a gold one. And they're probably going to cost you 
$27,000, $30,000 is my estimate. Um, yeah, it's a novelty piece. Like if you're a collector and you got the money, you buy these every year, right? Every time they bring out one of these for their cruise collections, because it kind of feels that way now that Carl is gone. Like Virginie does these only once a year. Like every cruise collection gets a whimsical minaudier or two or three. Uh, remember last year's cruise collection from Monaco got the slot machine minaudier, and they also got the uh, racing helmet, the uh, the racing car helmet minaudier. So there's this as well. Ollie says, gift shop goodie. Hot Wheels says, Carrie. Debbie says, out of. Kev says, the car's cute. The only one I would accept. Zane says, should have done the Barbie van and have it open up too. Oh, to fit Barbies. Oh my God, it a Chanel van. <gasps> Delish. Oh, you loved the slot machine, Ollie? Well, it's yours for only $23,000. Or more or less. I would like it if there was a Scooby and a Velma. Oh my gosh, Scooby-Doo. The mystery machine. That would be an awesome vibe. Sure. I'm glad that they're still honoring Carl's legacy by doing these whimsical pieces, these novelty pieces. Love seeing it on the runway. Not a must-have to own, but cute that they're still doing these. I just really don't like the price. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Oh, here's another one of those rabbits, a rabbit bags. We've seen them already, but just to sh I wanted to show you like every time it hit the runway. This is the third time we're seeing this bag. They're really pushing this. They are pushing the rabbit buttocks real hardcore. This is terrible. <laughs> the necklace, it looks like a laser cut plexiglass. Like, come on, Hot Topic. Terrible. Rat on a rope. Who said rat on a rope? Debbie said rat on a rope. But also, look how funny. The, they also did the belt in, in the rabbit. Honey, judging by the length of that belt, that rabbit was endowed. Judging by the length of that rope, that rabbit got excited. So anyway, let's move to the next one. Debbie says, this shite is so bad. All right, now we get to see the silver version of that baglet that has that side little strap. Now, she's so embarrassed to carry this bag that she's covering it with her hand as much as she can. But my takeaway from this moment is not the bag, whatever. Look, it already has the, the wrinkles in the wrong places. But this little sweat moment, if it were pink... Why am I filling it? Why am I filling it? Why am I filling the most novelty and freebie of pieces? Steph says, I thought we were exiting the tiny bag energy era. The stripped logo is cute, says Jane. Oh, the striped logo. Yes, the double C striped logo. Yeah, it's cute. I thought, yeah. The wristband with the sunset bag as a gym bag. Hmm. Oh, Debbie says, okay, I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. The sweatbands. Uh, I remember those everywhere. Let me show you the next one. Here you go. A better view of the raffia. The ruffian raffia. Oh, Penny Lane. $600 sweatband. It's probably going to be more like a $1,000 sweatband. Uh, cute. Sophia Petrillo vibes. Okay. Sophia Petrillo vibes, but that would be more Miami. Uh, but, uh, Debbie says, yuck. Vel says, oh, I don't mind it, y'all. Why are you, like, hating on this little baglet? Yeah, very Sophia Petrillo. I respect Sophia, so I'm going to respect the bag. I'm not going to buy it, but I'm going to respect it. Looks a bit stiff and too glossy. Yeah, it's a glossy raffia moment, you know? The pink looks bad, really, Debs? Not to me. Oh, Caleb says, I usually love straw, but this isn't it. Cha. I don't mind it, but I'm not going to get it. All right, let me show you the next one. <laughs> 
wonky much? <laughs> if the sample is so busted, could you imagine how the purchasable one is going to be? Um, <laughs> so, we'll go, we'll go. Uh, the jazzled black version of the bag that we've already seen. Yeah. Zonzuet. Zonzuet. I ain't feeling this one. And plus, you're going to lose all these little vajazzle bit giblets. <sighs> Next. Okay. Again, we're doing this. Looks like a miniature 19. Chanel 19 bag, doesn't it? Because the chain is attached here. And then it's going underneath the flap. But then there's also a part going like a handle on top of the flap. Weird. I don't think this is a turn lock. I think this is a ring. I don't know. Interesting. Also really interesting how this photo with this dress uh, outfit kind of really merges with my background. It looks like my extension of the room just starts morphing into this curve. Look at that. Like, curve. Look at that. Curve. Oh, yes, honey. All right. Uh, cute, but whatever. Next. Oh, that's a huge double C. Up Hoka Playa. Double C, a polka player, double C. This is one of those complicated bags where the chain goes up here. It splits in two. This one goes through this hole, goes up again, then it gets reattached. Oh, it's a lot. The huge double C. But you know what? If you are into the Logomania Y2K vibe or 80s vibe and you want that huge double C logo, I say go for it. I say this is the bag. I say this is the bag. This is the bag of the season. Legally blonde, right? Gosh, get a life. Julia says no. Nope. Tipa says clunky. Super cute. Gaudy vibe and love it, says Zane. Yeah, it, it, it's... Plus, it's kind of small. Very seasonal. Oh, Louis says sure, why not? So this one might not be 5,000. This one might be 3,000 doulas or 4,000. Oh, cha. Okay, whatever. I still want my ugly long one. But anyway, next. Oh, here we get a better view. Better. Zoo better. Zoo better. We get a better view of... Not only do we get a better view of this little uh, black version of the Volkswagen, with in this case, the white and black surfboard bush. Be sure to also check out my video review of the entire fashion show cruise Chanel 2023-2024. It's a separate video. A lot of fun vibes. But also be sure to check out my top uh, eight looks from the Chanel cruise 2023-2024 collection video. It's a separate video. And in that video, this is one of the looks that I chose as the best look. This. And in fact, really interesting how the videos connect. Go check out that video, then come back to this video, and then you'll understand more what I'm saying. Look at this tweed. These colors. Oh my gosh. Living. Living. I want this jacket. Go fund me. All right. Now, a uh, moment. And now let's get to the last one. The golden stare. We've seen the pink stare, uh, and now we see the golden stare. And the golden stare, uh, look at that. Look at the wobbly, wonky giblets moments. So I would presume this is in leather. Shiny lambskin, shiny calfskin. I don't know. Shiny hot topic. I, this this does not, uh, I say Zonzuet. My grandmother from her grave can see that gold bag is trash. Says Renato Castiglione. Um, 
And Louis says, I love how you review DH Gate goodies, Day Cub. Gosh, get a life says, shiny, shimmer, and splendid, lol. Caleb is like, yeah. Zane says, I can't wait for all the unboxing of these bags. I'm telling you, this crap is going to flood, flood our Instagram feeds, TikTok, and what have you. And it's going to be so annoying. And a lot of us are going to cave to the FOMO when we see a lot of people unbox them. Can't wait for all the unboxings. Looks like Chanel gave up with the stitching, says MM. Mia says, it looks like a kid's back from 2005. Well, and with this masterpiece, we conclude our journey, our journey into whatever this was, uh, the Chanel bag collection that hit the runway at the Chanel Cruise 2023-2024 Los Angeles uh, fashion show fashion show i hope you've enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below before you come for me say why did you why did you take pictures that are so weird like to the side of the bags because i'm reviewing them literally right after chanel put their photos and video online so chanel still did not serve us a proper close-up pictures of the bags uh, this is all we have for now, so bear with me. If you want, I can redo the video uh, once we get better detailed pictures of the bags if you want. But I have a sneaky suspicion that even what we had today was enough to give us an idea of what we're dealing with bag-wise. Gonna tell you this much. I did enjoy the clothes from this collection. Not so much the bags, but for the clothes videos, be sure to check out my review of the Chanel Cruise collection and my review of the top eight looks from this collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thumb up this video if you liked it and subscribe. Bye.